Good morning, P.O. P.O. Positive or Pet P? Will it be a P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then, I spend some time in Providence Oaks, and I'm always happy to see this beautiful and orderly village and its well-mannered inhabitants. Did someone just call me well-mannered? <laughs> I'll take it. Let's see if the weather will behave today. A bit of sun to start the day, but mostly overcast heading into the evening. I guess nobody's home. Hope nobody comes and steals this. Hey, you. Hi. So I'm guessing you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. Oh, really? Got anything romantic? <laughs> sure do. Or, wait, you do mean movies, right? So, what's on your mind, babe? I think I'm starting to like you. A lot. And I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. <laughs> no can do, Miss Weiss. Being awesome is my thing. Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? <laughs> Touché. So anyway, what's on your mind? Seems I caught you in a rare moment of quiet contemplation. Yeah, uh, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? You feel that way about Providence Oaks? It's just that this whole Flick Shack adventure, I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. And in the wrong place? I think so. Yeah, I think I'm just too different for this town. Plus, business hasn't really been booming. Ah, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Wow. I, I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. Well, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, about your future, I mean? Me? No, not yet. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, 
I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. Maharia, I'll swing by later. Here's your mail. answer. I'll leave it on the doorstep.
Hey, Meredith, I'm up here. Hey, Robert. Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. Maybe you should come down. Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Hi, Robert. That's better indeed. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Yikes. I'm glad there's people like you for that. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figure it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh, here? Really? Ugh, what a shame. Fear not. I have masterminded a wild card plan. Right, your wildcard plan. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. Um, right, and then? Well, we'll start jamming. Some music producer accidentally drives by, offers us a contract on the spot. Next stop, rich and famous. I got a feeling you're not being serious right now. Yeah, you got me there. It'll actually be a radio message to get the people in Providence Oaks involved. This afternoon at Jack Reynolds' barn. A professional sound studio, huh? Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I gotta get back up in this tree now. See you later. Bye. Be careful up there. Thanks.
leave it on the doorstep. Hope nobody comes and steals this. on earth did these folks order? Hi Kay, package for you. I'll just drop this on the counter, shall I? Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Um, what is it? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... A bunch of copies of the E.T. game? Ugh, I hope not. Okay. The suspense is killing me. Open it! Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! Oh man, I am super stoked this arrived so soon! I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently he had never really used it. I mean, what? How?
Imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get. I mean, the synth is used everywhere these days, so I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. No kidding. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. If you like sampling machines, you should totally try out programming. Oh man, I would love to. So much to do, so little time. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Nah, I'm good. Happy to help. I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. Hey, Lori. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, hi, Miss W. What are you playing there? Oh, this is just some arcade game. Oh, cool. What is it about? Well, it's called Ghost Blasters, but I don't think you'd like it. Have you played it? Yes, I have. So, I know it already. Do you want to play? Sure.
Better than I thought. Thank you, thank you. It was nothing. Nothing? Unbelievable. You actually beat my high score. What are you, some kind of once in a lifetime prodigy? <laughs> That's awesome. Wanna try again? I have to get back to my rounds. Another time, okay? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Talk to you later.
Okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. You'll do great. Okay, Robert, take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Um, uh, okay. You might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three, action! Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Better? Yeah, that should do it. Okay, that's a wrap. Back to tater harvesting. Meredith, I'm gonna return the favor and help Jack out today. If you lovebirds want to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the... I better get going. Good luck with those taters. Okay, Meredith. Thanks so much again for helping out. Meredith, it's me. Oh, hi Steve. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't? I'll look at them tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, short call. Got a rush. Corporate lawyer appointment. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. You speak soon. All right. Here we go again. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Okay, sir. Anything else? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. Providence Oaks, good morning to you. P.O. Positive or that P. Today's contribution is from Matt Kearney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake was a spectacle. I'm glad my barn's still standing, but thanks for calling in, Matt. Let's see what the weather will bring today. We're starting the day with showers, but the sun might come back in the end. Enjoy the music.
What's this? The Flick Shack has closed down and will not reopen. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oaks' premier home cinema provider. Thank you for your patronage. All the best. Your Flick Shack proprietor, Angie. Hmm. These look like bills. Hmm, these look like bills.
Ah, there's the mail. How's the photography coming along? Okay, I guess. I've been using the camera for a bit. If you can take pictures for me like you said you would, I can get this practice in. I'll get it done. Don't worry. Okay, please take some pictures and return it today. answer.
Hi, Maureen. P.O. people, I need to pause the music for a special message. Uh, hush, darling. I want to hear this. And so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris, who wants to keep Providence Oaks pretty. Uh, don't flatter yourself. He's talking about the trees. Take it away, Robert. Dear people of Providence Oaks, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? It could have been more juicy, I guess. But it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. He mentioned he was going to record it at Jack's, but that's all I know. He mentioned that, huh? So, you and Robert are getting to know each other a bit, are you? Now, Maureen, don't Maureen this out of proportion. I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things around in Providence Oaks now, was he? That's not exactly how he put it, and neither should you. Well, that's what I heard. Anyway, I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. What are you doing this Sunday evening, hon? Something tells me I'm about to find out. You know it. Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time open mic night this upcoming Sunday. We'll have some drinks, some food, discover the town's hidden talent or not. If you know what I mean, it'll be a hoot. Oh, I feel a cold coming on. <coughs> I do hope you are not mocking my open mic night idea, Miss Wise, or my food. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. Let's just say I'll do my best. There you go. You're catching up. Now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back, but I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to.
Here's your mail. Mail carrier Meredith. Farmer Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. As opposed to you? Yep. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. Luckily, Frank's keeping me busy. You spoke to him? Yeah, just talked to him on the phone. He's mad as a wet hen. It's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks for dropping by, mail carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Okay, Jack. Good luck with the weather. Hope it'll clear up. Thank you much. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's me. Oh, hi, Dad. What's up? The sun is up. The sky is blue. Life's good here. That's great to hear. Yeah, we're so happy we finally took the trip. Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? Wow, that sounds great. What's the plan? Live there? Yes. We talked to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. And if we like it, we can buy it and settle down here for good. Awesome! I'm so happy for you! Isn't it something? And uh, 
It means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. So, um, if you want to extend your stay in Providence Oaks... Are you serious? I'm pretty serious, yes. But uh, it's a pretty big deal, so just think about it for now. Hmm? Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, well, here comes your dad again. Bye, dear. I'm going to get us something bubbly. Hey, Meredith. Just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay. Bye, Dad. Memories, memories, memories Of you and me Memories Mickey, <laughs> that was so deep. Right, Meredith? Wow, yeah, awesome. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and, and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes, but nights like these... I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. How did you two meet? At a dorm party. He was the cool guy who dropped out of college, and I was about to do the same. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. Cautious? Of what? The man, of course. Always the fucking man. The man? What man? The man, you know, in general. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey, guys. Let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. <coughs> Meredith! No thanks. I'll pass. June? Maybe later, Mickey. Meredith, how about some booze instead? No thanks, June. I'm good. Aww. I guess I'll drink some wine by myself then. Be right back. Memories. 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 Of you. Here you go. Ah, this is the life. It sure is. It will be even better once we're finally in Canada. I'm sure you'll have more peace in Canada. I hope you guys will be happy there. It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blanket, swim across the border, and then we're good. Hey, I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. Mickey, can Meredith have the RV? What piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. Thanks, but no thanks. One oversized vehicle is enough for me. Are you sure? 
You should try going off the grid. Experience real freedom. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, memories, memories of you. Top of the Thursday morning, P.O. We don't have any callers today, so I'll bring up one of my own pet peeves. P.O. Positive <laughs> or negative? The idiotic plans for pedestrianization of Main Street. It's... <sighs> well, don't get me started or I won't even have time for the weather. Speaking of... It's heavier than I thought. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep.
Oh dear, you're a sight for sore eyes. Oh hi, Miss J... Mildred? How so? Is something wrong with the cats again? It's just... this week. It's all a bit much for me. I need to get my hair done for Sunday's special evening, but I can't leave my cats alone. And then all of a sudden, Frank has gone missing. He still needs to bring me an envelope. Please tell me that you have it with you. I'm afraid this is just a postcard. But what do you mean he needs to bring you an envelope? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. Oh dear, oh dear. He can't just have vanished into thin air, can he? Don't worry, I'm sure Frank will show up again. Oh, Frankie boy. Always making me worry too much. And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. But what if I can't reschedule? Perhaps I could look after your cats. Would you, my dear? It's tomorrow evening. That would be such a relief for me. And the cats. Tomorrow night? Sure, no trouble at all. Oh, thank you so much, dear. Just show up at seven and eat as many cookies as you like. Meredith, look at this house on wheels. I have no idea where it came from, but it's absolutely rad. It was left here by Mickey and June, that young couple by the lake campground. Oh, really? And now what? They told me I could have it if I want. But I don't. I can give it to you instead, if you want it. You know, keep it here and tinker on it. Oh, yes! That'd be amazing. You know I love tinkering, but it's going to need a lot of work. Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, if it's going to be here a while... I should give it a name first. Can't have such a beautiful vehicle and not give it a name. How about the Sea Turtle? Big, slow, washed up, just like a turtle. Or... The raccoon, because it's got brown spots and is full of trash? Or the hermit shell. It had many owners over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. I like... The sea turtle. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. See you later. Bye.
on earth do these folks order? Yes, yes, yes. He could only look on in sheer terror as Madeline threw the key straight into the lake. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is good stuff. Ah, a writer. How interesting. Oh, for Christ's sakes, go away. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. You haven't told me anything. I'm, I'm new here. Oh, bloody heck. Do I sound like I care? You lot are all the same to me. Just go away. How many yokels are there in this backwater town? Do they realize people come out to these kinds of places because they're supposed to be remote and quiet? Sir, if you don't want to be disturbed, don't mail order anything? I... I do beg your pardon. I... yes, I am expecting a package. I didn't know you were from the Postal Service, ma'am. Should it even matter who I am? Shouting at random strangers is generally considered rude. All right, all right, I'm sorry. It's just... I've been under a lot of pressure lately from my publisher, as well as my wife. I do appreciate your driving all the way up here, and Lord knows I'll be needing those ribbons. Just please leave them on the porch, and uh, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, where was I? She threw the key in the lake. Then what happens? Oh, Christ's sake, she made me lose my bloody train of thought. No, wait, I got it. And then he says, 